attention. The following experiment is easy to be reproduced by yourself, so you may want to try it on your own. This requires working experience with substances still potentially harmful to your health, open flames and the knowledge what you're doing and how to dispose the used materials. Further, it is necessary and or recommended to perform this experiment under subversion of an experienced instructor, chemist or teacher. Hello and welcome to another chemistry video. Today I'd like to show you an experiment to see the effects of phosphorescence. You all may know this from emergency signs declaring the emergency exits of public buildings. Usually these phosphorescent materials are based on zinc sulfide doped with rare earth metal oxides. But in this experiment we use the crystal structure of tartaric acid and the sodium salt of fluorescein. This experiment is a bit empiric at all, so there is no need to take care of exact weights. So I found the experiment works fine with about 1 or 2 grams of tartaric acid with a few crystals of uranine. So this mixture is prepared in a test tube, a bit stirred up, and then it is carefully molten over the flame of a Bunsen burner to form a nice layer on the inside of the test tube. After such a nice yellow layer is formed, the test tube needs to cool down a bit because the effect of phosphorescence doesn't occur when the material is still hot. With a white LED, nothing special happens. So, for this purpose, I put a test tube into a small baker with some covered water and let it cool down for a few seconds. After it's cooled to the temperature of the water, I'm going to illuminate it again. And what you can see here is the effect of a delayed emittance of light, also known as phosphorescence. The simple process of fluorescence only takes place under the illumination of light and does not sustain after the light is shut off. In this case you can see the glow keeps on for a few seconds and is really bright as well. Further, it is possible to close the test tube to avoid moisture getting into the layer and destroy the phosphorescent system. So it's possible to close the test tube like an ampule and keep the phosphorescent layer working. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and if you want, subscribe to my channel.